Well, I feel like everybody has a moment in life where they don't know if they're good enough, where they, they don't know if they can come through. They're put in a situation and they're putting themselves out there and they're vulnerable and they don't know if they're gonna be able to come through. And that was a lot of my Siwi experience this year as the featured artist. Literally staring at all these faces and you're presenting your work and it's almost like you walk up on stage saying, am I good enough? It's completely different from any other year. You know, in years past, I even looked at my camera roll and there, were, there was one year where I was really backed up with a lot of other work. I didn't start painting for Seaway in February until after Christmas the year before. So essentially in a, in a month and a half, two months, um, I got all the work done that I brought to the show. In a typical year, I would bring 10 to 12 pieces to the show. Um, that consisted of you know three to four large pieces three to four medium size and then a few small ones. A large piece for me is like a 24 by 36, 30 by 40. So in a typical year, I'm bringing 10 to 12 pieces to the show. This year I brought 32 originals and then another 12 or 13 um, sketches. I literally had to triple my output at a minimum. And in order to do that, what I did is I mocked up I, I basically took an InDesign document and made a 40 foot wall. And I decided what my feature was gonna look like, what my other large pieces were gonna look like, and I literally, to scale, filled out that wall. A lot of those pieces I mocked up ahead of time. I spent you know, two to three weeks just thinking of subject matter that I thought would do well, what I wanted to do, what I wanted to bring to the show, and I would mock it up to scale. So I would know, okay, I need, six big pieces, I need four smaller pieces, oh, I need another big piece, oh, I can bring another small piece to round this out. Because the last thing I wanted to do is get to Charleston and not have enough art to fill the wall. Well, we've had a great experience there. We've really enjoyed Charleston. We have friends that live there. We've gotten to, to really fall in love with that event and the city and the people and you just it, you know over the course of 10 years when you do something that long you know we we've watched some of the balloon girls go from being in high school to college graduates and you you get used to um a certain rhythm and a routine this past year i was named the featured artist which breaks that whole routine ryan i love you i'm so proud of you all of your accomplishments with your family and your art and your career, you know, they're all up, it's all you, it's all self-made. Your dad and I like, would like to claim your accomplishments, but, but we know that this is up to you and this is what you've done on your own. So we're very proud of you. A lot of people want to be successful. A lot of people talk about it, but they are unwilling to put themselves in uncomfortable positions to be successful. And not only do I have to do that on a day-to-day, year-to-year basis, but when you have a, a large event like this looming where the spotlight is bright, I feel even more pressure to do so, and I've got to push myself even further than I ever have before. I wanted to say a quick congratulations to Ryan Kirby on being featured artist in the upcoming Seawe. I've known Ryan for about 10 years and what I appreciate most about his art is his process. So all the work and effort that goes on behind the scenes to produce these, these great paintings and, and works of art. Uh, he approaches it like a craftsman so you know I've just seen him read lots of books, try new methods and approaches and you can really see his work evolving and improving through time. I just really, really respect that. Um, also respect Ryan as a, a businessman. Uh, I've just seen him, you know, pushing his craft and his field forward and being very consistent on a day-to-day -day basis, you know, producing those daily sketches and just the effort and commitment it takes to execute things like that. Um, so again, congratulations to Ryan. We're super proud of you, man.
Well, I feel like everybody has a moment in life where they don't know if they're good enough, where they, they don't know if they can come through. They're put in a situation and they're putting themselves out there and they're vulnerable and they don't know if they're gonna be able to come through. And that was a lot of my CWE experience this year as the featured artist. Getting too close to the deadline to order new frames. Mm -hmm. And the only frame I have is an 18 by 24. So I expanded it and the composition really, there, there's too much. I mean, that's like six inches by 12 inches. On a smaller canvas, you can get away with that smaller empty space. On a bigger canvas, you can have way more stuff to carry the interest. And okay. some of them go pretty easy and some of them you wrestle with a lot. So I'm not gonna like, I'm not gonna rework it for like days on end, but it needs Paint on it? How do I fix it? I didn't, I didn't there was a hole in mommy's bed. And it was rain was dripping in the hole in mommy's bed and then I had and then and, and then the rain is yellow in the house. The rain is what? The rain is yellow in the in the cup. The rain is... In huh? the house. It's in the... It just... It was it dripping in the house and then it's yellow. Where at? It, it's, it was in... In mommy's bed. In mommy's bed? Yeah. And her can't sleep in the puddle. She can't sleep in the puddle? Is the roof leaking? Interesting. How am I gonna fix this painting? Remember the picture of this when you was holding me? Yeah, I do. That was a picture of that. There's a picture of you? When you was holding me. When I was holding you? Yeah. Like a woman woman. You was holding, holding me like a woman woman. Like a woman woman? Yeah. Or a wonder woman? No, Derby just licked me. Derby licked you? Yep. Wow. I want to live in your world, Brooklyn. It'd be the best. I don't know. It's just they've both kind of got to do what they wanted to do, and after high school, Tyler's in the sports world and Ryan's in the art world and that's what they both wanted to do so we're proud of them and hope they continue their success. You know I've been going to the show for 10 years. Kim and I, Kim has been with me the whole way. You can be the feature artist once in your career and they a lot of times when you get into the show they'll, they'll watch you, observe you, vet you. Um, it's a juried show so you have to be juried in in the first place but then they want to make sure you can sell. They want to make sure you're bringing good work. They want to make sure that you're the, the, the right fit. And if it all works out, a lot of times they will choose you to be the featured artist. When he got juried into Siwi, that was a huge accomplishment because he had attended as an attendee before and with a dream of being there. So now that he's the featured artist there is phenomenal. I mean, it's just, and I knew he would get there, you know, and, because you walk, you walk around to each booth and it'll, there'll be a tag on the booth and it'll say, you know, like, Jim Killen, featured artist, and then the year he was featured artist. Um, and so, you know, all these years, it's, the tag has been Ryan Kirby, but no featured artist underneath it because he just hasn't gotten there. And so now I'm excited for it to say featured artist 2023. That's pretty awesome. Oh, okay.
hit some crap like crazy. So I worked well in advance of the show. We actually uh, rented a small U-Haul trailer instead of putting it in my truck, which we've done in the past. Packed those up and we spent the whole week down there. <laughs> Daddy's Valentine. Kids already, this is awesome. Got settled into an Airbnb. We brought the whole family. Um, my brother works for the Kansas City Chiefs. They were in the Super Bowl, so they couldn't get there till a few days later, till after the Super Bowl parade was over with. My parents came into town, so we had an Airbnb full of kids and all kinds of stuff. Ryan, congrats on being the featured artist here at Siwi. Um, you've earned every bit of it. Uh, I've seen uh, for the longest time how much work you put into this, uh, and you've done an incredible job with it and, and made a career out of it, uh, and it's been really, really cool to see. Uh, so again, congrats on being the featured artist. We've had a great weekend here, um, and uh, we wish you all the, the luck, all the success in the future. From there, really, the interview started. You know, you're you're kind of on from the from from day two, uh, Tuesday. I had a couple TV interviews. I spoke at the Citadel. You have appearances. You have to you have to be sort of the the face of the show. Ryan Kirby, thank you so much for stopping by today. Thanks for having me. Kind of a busy man. You're spread throughout the Siwi areas this week. We're actually doing an event tomorrow night at 6 p.m. I'm going to paint on the top of a Yeti cooler at the Yeti retail store on King Street. And then um, Thursday is a VIP preview day, then the Black Tie Gala. But most of the general public, if you haven't gotten tickets yet, you can see us Friday through Sunday at the Charleston Place Hotel. And what is, you know, being a featured artist, what does this mean to you? You know, I've watched some great artists come through the stage and be the featured artist for years before. And it was almost surreal to know that it was my turn to take the stage. So special. I mean, you know how I dress day to day. Hey, say what you mean.
<laughs> oh my gosh. So does it. Well, I love your work. It's been a while. <laughs> it has been a while. <laughs> Everything looks great How though. Are you, doing? you still yeah. in the same spot? I we're, see you. We're down, yeah. So Wednesday is the big setup day. Uh, this year, I believe there were 85 artists. They come from literally all over the world. A lot of, 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 of southeast regional. Um, there's a lot from the wet, from from out west. There was a guy from Alaska this year that was new to the show. A couple from South Africa. Um, there, there's people from all over the place, and and a great lineup of artists. I mean, there really is quality stuff there. <clears throat> I've enjoyed meeting a lot of the other artists uh, over the years. We talk shop. I get to know them. Um, you know, we 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 really really do enjoy that part of the show just as much as meeting potential buyers. So we're already set up for the most part, but a lot of the other artists are coming in. And I remember over the years that being one of the funnest parts of the show is who am I going to be next to this year? What are they going to bring? Seeing everybody unpack their art. Uh, it can be stressful getting it on the wall because you don't really know where you're going to put everything. You're kind of like curating a gallery and you've spent so much time creating the art, it's weird to hang it on the wall now, like it's go time. The next day they have a VIP preview day and we sold several originals that day. Uh, patrons of Seaweed, people that purchase VIP packages can come in that starts at noon. And they really get sort of their pick of the litter. They can see all of the art before the general uh, public is, is there. That's where we see a lot of our repeat buyers, people that have bought for years over the past and people that we see every year at the show. They always come to the VIP preview. Then the show really kicks off. It's cool to come up here early in the morning um, and just kind of run, clear my head and, and think about the past 10 years that we've been coming to the show here and, and, and the transition that our families had, that our careers have had. You know, I mean, when we were first started coming here, we didn't have kids. And now we have an Airbnb with the whole family on Mount Pleasant. And to think about all those changes, all those things that have happened over the years is just kind of really cool. And it's, it's nice before all the madness of the show, before everything starts, to just have a little bit of second to myself and um, kind of take all that in and reflect on it. Um, it's also nice to see Charleston from overhead. You know, it's a beautiful location, everybody knows that. A lot of people come here, big tourist destination, but to see the whole city, uh, to see the host for the Southeastern Wildlife Expo from an aerial view is just, it's a cool perspective. Um, really pretty, you can see battleships. I watched a tanker, like a cargo ship, go to the ocean this morning and to realize just how many things in the world are going on right now, bigger than art. Um, but to realize that art is the central focus for the weekend is pretty cool. And uh, how grateful I am to have a relationship with Ryan Kirby. Not only do I consider him a friend, uh, he's a great artist, I admire his work. Uh, he invited me to go uh, to Seaweed this year for the first time ever. I think it probably has something to do with him being a featured artist. Uh, and so I want to wish him congratulations for that. I'm super excited about going to see you for the first time. Uh, we look forward to seeing all your work. Uh, Every day is where we
that is where that's the big dog and pony show. That's where everybody gets done up. There's drinks, there's open bar, there's hors d'oeuvres, there's tons of conversation. There's just a buzz about the whole place. And then they have the auction. The featured painting is what is used on all of the marketing material, the brochure, the billboards, the everything. It's got to be big, bright, bold, vibrant. It's got to be an eye-catching piece that helps tell the story of the show, not just an original oil painting. The auction is where the featured painting is sold. It's not sold as part of the uh, general show. You can't buy it before the show. You have to be at that auction to buy it. And you know, see, we a lot of times they have. They, they, there's there's going to be people that they know bid on it. There's also going to be people that just want to buy it because it's my piece or they like it or something like that. So there's a lot of anxiety there. You just don't know. You don't know how it's going to go. And you know, I remember all the 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 ups and downs of painting the piece. Um, I remember I repainted the hen three times in that piece because I didn't like it and I, I just, there was even one period, one day where I had just had to walk away from the whole thing because I had so much um, anxiety build up over it. I just locked up. I just had complete creative block and I had to quit and walk away from it. And I tend to put too much pressure on myself anyway, but also it's like this is the signature piece. This is sort of the the mark that you're going to leave on the show. This is the piece that people are going to see first and they're going to remember you by once the show has come and gone. And so there's a lot of there's a lot that goes into that. A lot of pressure. Ladies, bring your wrapped up in what it goes for, but you can't help it. You just cannot help it. It's like, if this goes for a high price, I did good. If it tanks, I did bad and I suck. <laughs> and you just can't help but feel all that. And you're going up on stage, everybody's in, in, in their tuxes. I'm in a tux, which only happens once a year at Sea Week, so I'm already like in, in, a, in a penguin suit, which I'm not comfortable with. You're literally staring at all these faces presenting your work and it's almost like you walk up on stage saying am I good enough and it's nerve-wracking <laughs> it, it is it's vulnerable um, it's uncomfortable it's hard and I've seen videos of the auction and I look at myself and I was like oh, you look pretty calm up there but it wasn't that way inside I, my heart was beating it was racing we create the heart-stopping moment when the birds take flight I sketch, research, and sketch some more before settling on this composition of the trio taking flight. Until you put a brush to canvas, you never know what's going to happen. Shared by Ryan Kirby, Doug Taylor, and this picture, ladies and gentlemen, the auction is off. All right, you're going to hear from the man, the legend, the myth himself, Ryan Kirby, all the way from Boone, North Carolina. Tell us. Well, thank you very much. Um, I was sitting here thinking about what I'm going to say, and the only thing I could think about is 10 years ago, Kim and I walked into this ballroom for the very first time. We exhibited right here next to Jim and Karen Killen back in the day, and it is surreal to be here up on stage when we watched this for 10 years in a row. Uh, this piece is the product of a lot of hard work, not only by myself, but my family, my wife Kim, everybody at Siwi, and we just, we thank you for the past decade. We thank you for how well the show and our careers and our lives have grown. This is the product of a lot of work, a lot of time, and a lot of effort, and uh, I hope you enjoy it. Thank you so much. It's been awesome knowing you for over a decade and watching your career blossom from where it started to where you are today. Congratulations, man. One, now we're gonna go two, now we're gonna go three. Three, we're gonna go three. 
Hey Ryan, uh, man, just first of all, congratulations on being CB's featured artist. You deserve it, man. You've earned it through hard work, determination, and like this uh, drive. And so proud of you. And glad that we're we're friends. And glad that I have a wall full of Ryan Kirby art. I'm at four now. Want to go five thousand now? Want to go six thousand? I'm at five now. Want to go six? Six six thousand I have now. Want to go seven thousand? I'm at six now. Want to go seven? Seven thousand I have now. Ever since I met Ryan, something special has happened to him with his career. I mean, he's just, he's one of the best artists that I've ever seen. Um, but I'm just, I knew with his drive and determination that this was gonna, this was gonna happen to him one day. And we're just so happy. There's nobody more deserving of this award than Ryan. He has, uh, it's been a long time coming and he certainly worked hard and it's paid off for him. And we're so proud of you, Ryan, congratulations. event like this, yes, it takes a lot of time from me in the studio, but it by no means is it is it just me. There's a ton of people. Um, there's a lot of people I'd like to thank, too. Um, first, of all, first of all, my wife, Kim, uh, she handles a lot to keep me freed up to paint here. Been a huge support, and there's literally nobody that I can imagine that can help me more in an event like that, except for her, big, besides her. Um, my parents, just obviously for everything that, that parents do for us over the years, but also for coming and helping out and watching kids. My brother and his wife for coming down and taking time out of their schedule and bringing their kids so all the cousins could hang out. John, uh, the president of Siwi, for everything he did. All the staff of Siwi for all the stuff that they do. I mean, it's, it's tremendous what they do. My friends from Boone for coming down and, and, and hanging out and having a good time and seeing the show and also for just the support of being there. You know, Charleston's a great city, Seaweed's a great event. So I just want to say thank you to everybody that came, everybody that purchased from something from us and, and came out to show their support and just encourage everybody to come check out Seaweed in future years because it's not over. They've already set the dates for next year and it's just going to continue to get better every year.